our community. This is Urbanscape. And just like every other community across Canada, hockey lives here. Our arena, the Urban Skin Arena, is one of the only available facilities for our youth in our community. So every winter, it is a highly busy and utilized facility for all of our youth. member Perry Cardinal to speak with us about the youth. He works very closely with the youth in the schools and the community. My name is uh, Perry Cardinal. I'm a Muscatrice RCMP member. I've been in Muscatrice community for over 10 years now and uh, uh, being a hockey fan and a hockey player and uh, uh, just a community uh, minded person I, uh, I see the arena in Muscatrice here at Hermanskin as a very valuable place for our young people to go and to go watch hockey and watch our kids playing together on the same team and wearing a uniform that's uh, related to our community in Muscatrice and for them to dress up and uh, uh, show their team spirit. I think it's important that a facility like uh, their rink, the hockey rink, is open and uh, operational throughout the year. I know for a time there it was shut down and it was a real loss of uh, opportunity for young kids uh, to do something positive. Uh, going to the rink teaches you uh, team building skills, uh, how to become a leader if you're not a leader, how to uh, get along uh, in a group setting and uh, also a lot of these the relationships you build as a child in a hockey rink carry over for a long time. When you look inside the rink currently you'll see pictures of uh, great grandfathers and Muslims of these children that are going there now to see uh, pictures of their relatives and how they got playing hockey and how they at one time played hockey and uh, uh, how maybe some of them have inherited the gene that carries on a good hockey player. Uh, uh, and I think relationship building is important. Uh, when you live in a community or work in a community and you see that there's limited resources uh, for recreation, but you see a very, uh, very well-kept uh, arena uh, that's part of a child's life and that they go look forward to going there for a couple hours of the week. And then on the weekend the family gathers there together to cheer and to uh, share in winning and also share in the losing part of hockey. Uh, it's, a, it's a good thing for our community and any kind of funding that is available to uh, carry on this, uh, this, this building and which we use for uh, bike rodeos in the summer uh, where we take uh, all the school kids, uh, school age children come out and work with the uh, local police and um, Muscatrice Wellness to teach bike safety uh, indoors and we can show that uh, it is a, uh, a very appreciated uh, facility and I know for myself when I came here and I saw this uh, very, uh, uh, I guess uh, at the time a troubled community uh, is all I heard about. Then I came to the rink and I saw this massive group of kids involved in hockey and not in a negative lifestyle. They were involved in a positive uh, opportunity to play sports and to uh, start out as a young kid and then to see uh, some of the parents helping out and knowing that they have the opportunity to play hockey in their own community and not have to travel because a lot of kids can't travel and there's also a lot of kids that can't afford to play hockey but they get to play it here in Ermanskin and certainly uh, I look at a chance for a kid to uh, meet other people who have gone on to play hockey in other places and who might live here and those people come out and coach and help out and show kids skills that they've learned and pass on and we've also had NHL visitors come and skate in the rink with our kids here and uh, such as Brian Trache who a lot of people don't remember being a Stanley Cup winner with the New York Islanders come to the Muscogee's Ermanskin rink and to uh, teach the kids some skills and get on the ice with kids and uh, uh, show that uh, you can move outside your community but you can always come back come play hockey here or if you went away and became a great hockey player and played in the NHL or boys or girls and you come back and you teach uh, young kids the importance of playing sports and how it uh, can create a, a, a good opportunity for you in your life to become a leader and I, I, I certainly hope that uh, this community is uh, is voted for by people across Canada to know that uh, 
you know what, we all have an opportunity here, and these children certainly do. And uh, outside kids come to play here, and I think they're surprised by the uh, facility, and that uh, we need to keep this facility operational for, we have a lot of kids here, thousands of kids, who can utilize that and, uh, and, and right now and in the future. And I hope that uh, this community is uh, helped out by Canadians to realize that there's a lot of good kids here that need an opportunity and uh, for other kids to come here and visit, come and see our arena and say, hey, we have a good place to play hockey, uh, which is Canada sport and it's also a community sport where uh, people can come and watch at, uh, at almost zero cost sometimes to come watch kids play hockey. And certainly uh, it goes a long ways in keeping kids uh, focused on getting a better life, uh, living a better life, uh, you know, uh, or realizing that you can work out and live a healthy life. And so I hope that people recognize the opportunity that they have to vote for Herman Skin for, for the hockey rink and the Craft Hockeyville uh, program. Like all parents across Canada, we all want our kids to make healthy choices, to live healthy lives and to grow to be successful and pursue their goals and live their purpose. We all worry about the potential risks and the influences out there. It's a very deep concern here for many parents. And that's why hockey is not only essential for many of our youth, it can prove to be a defining factor on the outcomes for many young lives here in our community. The path these kids take stems largely from the opportunities available to them. And the reason why sports is so imperative for these youth. Here playing is the chief of Ermanskin, Randy Ermanskin. He came out last Sunday to join in with the community league. And, and I think people kind of flock here, especially at this time of the year, waiting for tournaments to happen because what, most hockey seasons end by February and there's not a whole lot of other options that, as they're waiting for the skating park or slow pitch or whatever, winter time everybody comes here and it's kind of a gathering place and, and you have to figure out a way to, to uh, keep programming together and if, if we can keep up the hockey, I think other programs, people start realizing that they, they need to start volunteering, getting involved in their children's activity so that they can keep the kids busy. If we don't keep the kids busy, we're going to keep having social problems. I think that's one, one aspect that's so, so vital. But I think hockey is the most common in our community, and, uh, and it keeps everybody active, like I said before. And then, but uh, and then trying to encourage some of the older people. I think there's a few of us that were 55 plus, and, and trying to encourage these other kids that we were skating with today. They were 35 and up. So trying to maintain activity and keeping everybody active. I think that's something that. We have to maintain so we don't we don't have sicknesses, diabetes and other things. And, but at the same time, uh, keeping everybody busy as much as we can. There's, the more they uh, come together all the time, they, they become closer and, and they start talking to each other, encouraging each other to keep coming out. And this way, they uh, if someone kind of disengages from a team, these kids can go there and get them and get them back into the game. And, so that they don't fall away and start doing things that are not good for them, uh, especially you know like drugs, alcohol, whatever, uh, challenge for their kids. Far too early for someone getting involved in drugs. I think that that's the key. Once they start realizing that they can be healthy playing hockey, that's why I enjoy coming out. I, I, I'm the oldest on the skin team, I believe, and, and, but but I, I, I like getting involved with these these young guys because. I, I know it encourages them when I'm happy. With the facility having a shutdown last year, and this season started out with uncertainty, we're happy that the games still go on. For now at least, 
but it would be nice to be reassured of that and be certain that we still have an arena for everyone, for the community, for the kids. Thank you.